and preparations made to maintain essential services. The NDRF has deployed 79 teams in these states and 22 additional teams are also kept in readiness. Rescue and relief teams of the Army, Navy and the Coast Guard, along with ships and aircraft, have also been deployed. Union Minister for Railways, Commerce and Industry, Piyush Goyal, and Minister of Ports, Shipping and Waterways, Mansuk Mangria, yesterday interacted with industry leaders about the likely impact of very severe cyclonic storm Kaute and preparedness for facing it. The meeting was called on the directions of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. It was also attended by senior officers of the Indian Meteorological Department, Ministry of Ports, Shipping and Waterways, Railway Ministry, NDMA, and the states of Gujarat, Maharashtra and Goa, and the Union Territory of Tatra and Nagar Haveli and Tamandiu. Director General IMD informed that the cyclone is... You can now listen to a Tyagaraja Kirtanai. Ikan Nu. and are either hospitalized or Karnataka, Maharashtra, Nadu, Kerala, Andhra Pradesh, West Bengal, Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Odisha and Haryana continue to be major hotspots of the viral pandemic. The country has administered more than 18 crore 22 lakh doses of the COVID-19 vaccine so far. The Union Health Ministry said that more than 17,33,000 beneficiaries were inoculated with COVID-19 vaccine doses in the past 24 hours. Out of this, more than 11,19,000 beneficiaries were vaccinated for the first dose and nearly 6 lakh beneficiaries received the second dose of the vaccine. The center has said that it plans to ramp up the production of Bharat Biotech's Covaxin from 1.5 crore doses to about 10 crore doses every month. Niti Aayog member Dr. V.K. Paul said total production of Covaxin doses will be further scaled up to 13 crore doses per month when three public sector undertakings start manufacturing the vaccine. The Delhi government has extended lockdown in the national capital by one more week. Delhi will now remain under strict lockdown until 5 a.m. on the 24th of this month. Informing the decision to the media, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal said that substantial gains have been made in the capital city in positivity rate in the past few weeks. He said the government does not want to reverse the early gains made by removing the lockdown. Amid shortage of COVID vaccine, Punjab Chief Minister Captain Amarinder Singh directed for year age group and addressing the virtual COVID view meeting, the chief minister said that unlike to into 44 year category have almost been utilized. So this age group in which currently the state government calculating families of healthcare workers co-morbid persons and construction laborers. The Tamil Nadu government has formed a third
representatives who are doctors by profession. The representatives will share and discuss the status of the COVID-19 pandemic situation. In tennis, Rafael Nadal beat world number one Novak Djokovic to win title. Second Spaniard Nadal won through 7-5, 1-6, in two hours and 49 minutes against the defending champion. And that is the end of this news bulletin. ये आकाशवाणी है अब आप भोतानी से समाचार सुनिए कोरोना संक्रमण में बढ़ोतरी है पैतालीस वर्ष उम्र के लोग सही समय पर दूसरा टीका लगवाए तीन आसान उपायों का सुरक्षित दूरी बनाए रखें और भावनगर जिले गुजरात तट पार करने की संभावना है मौसम विभाग के अनुसार भीषण चक्रवात दिन में साढ़े ग्यारह बजे पूर्व मध्य अरब सागर में केंद्रित था इसके अगले 24 घंटे में तीव्र होकर गुजरात तट पर टकराने की संभावना है मौसम विभाग ने सौराष्ट्र के कुछ तटीय इलाकों में हल्की से मध्यम वर्षा का अनुमान व्यक्त किया है विभाग देश में अब तक 18 करोड़ 22 लाख से अधिक कोविड टीके लगाए हैं स्वास्थ्य मंत्रालय ने बताया है कि अब तक सत्रह लाख तैतीस हजार ऐसी अधिक 